On October 16, 2024, chaos erupted at the Montepuez ruby mine in northeastern Mozambique. This region, known for its rich deposits of rubies, has long been a focal point for both legal and illegal mining activities. Approximately 300 individuals stormed the mine, overwhelming the security personnel on site. The mine is owned by Gemfields Group Limited, a prominent player in the global ruby market. Gemfields has invested heavily in the region, aiming to extract high-quality rubies while promoting ethical mining practices. The invasion led to a violent confrontation. The clash between the invaders and the police was intense, with both sides suffering injuries. Police attempting to control the mob shot two people. The use of firearms has sparked a debate about the appropriate level of force in such situations. The incident highlights the escalating security concerns within the region. Security measures, though stringent, were not enough to prevent the breach. It also underscores the lengths to which people will go in pursuit of potential riches. The allure of striking it rich drives many to take extreme risks. The motivation behind the invasion is still being investigated. Authorities are looking into various factors, including economic desperation and organized crime. However, early reports suggest a possible connection to unrest and illegal mining operations in the area. These illegal activities have been a persistent issue, undermining the efforts of legitimate mining companies. This event has caused significant disruption to the mine's operations. Equipment was damaged, and production has been halted, leading to substantial financial losses. It has also raised serious questions about the safety of workers and the effectiveness of security measures in place. The workers, who rely on the mine for their livelihood, are now in a state of uncertainty. International organizations have expressed deep concern over the incident. They are calling for immediate action to address the root causes of such conflicts. Human rights violations and the overall stability of Mozambique's mining sector are now in question. The international community is closely monitoring the situation. The Mozambican government is facing mounting pressure to address the situation swiftly. They are being urged to implement stronger regulations and provide better protection for mining operations. They must take decisive action to prevent future incidents and ensure the safety and security of all involved. This includes enhancing security protocols and fostering better relations with local communities. The incident at Montepuez is a stark reminder of the complex challenges faced by mining companies operating in volatile regions. These challenges include not only security threats, but also socio-economic and environmental issues. It underscores the need for robust security measures, community engagement, and a commitment to responsible mining practices to mitigate risks and ensure the sustainability of the industry. Only through a comprehensive approach can such incidents be prevented in the future. Sean Gilbertson, the CEO of Gemfields, confirmed the incident and the subsequent police action. In a public statement, I expressed profound concern for the safety of our workforce. I acknowledge the serious security breach at the mine Gemfields is fully cooperating with local authorities and a thorough investigation is underway. Maintaining a safe and secure working environment at the mine is of paramount importance. We are committed to resolving the situation swiftly and effectively. Resuming normal operations as soon as possible is a top priority. We aim to restore confidence among our employees, partners and the wider community. The CEO's statement reflects Gemfields' commitment to transparency and accountability. It underscores the company's dedication to the well-being of its employees. Gemfields aims to address the concerns of investors and the public. They are working to find a balance between security, responsible mining practices, and community relations. A later gathering of 500 people near the mine suggests a coordinated effort, indicating that this was not a random occurrence. This points to something more than a spontaneous event, hinting at a well-planned and executed strategy. It appears that false information fueled the initial invasion, misleading the locals into believing they had a right to mine. This misinformation campaign spread rapidly, primarily through social media and word of mouth, creating a false narrative. It claimed the mine was open for public mining, which was entirely untrue and led to chaos. This tactic was likely orchestrated by organized ruby smuggling syndicates who saw an opportunity to exploit the situation. These syndicates profit from illegal mining activities, making substantial gains from the black market trade. They recognized an opportunity to exploit the vulnerability of the local population, who were desperate for economic relief. By spreading false information, they incited the initial invasion, manipulating the locals to serve their own interests. 
This incident exposes the challenges mining companies face in combating illegal activities, highlighting the need for better security measures. Protecting their assets from organized crime is a constant battle, requiring significant resources and vigilance. The involvement of smuggling rings adds a layer of complexity to the situation, making it harder to control and manage. It highlights the urgent need for stronger law enforcement to dismantle these criminal networks and restore order. Community engagement is crucial to counter these criminal networks, ensuring that locals are informed and vigilant. Education and awareness campaigns can help prevent the spread of misinformation, empowering communities to resist manipulation. The Montepuez Ruby Mine, located in Mozambique, is a significant contributor to the global ruby supply. This mine is renowned for producing some of the highest quality rubies in the world, making it a pivotal player in the gemstone market. Gemfields, as the owner of the Montepuez mine, plays a crucial role in the industry. Their operations not only influence the availability of rubies, but also set standards for mining practices globally. This recent incident, involving security concerns and operational disruptions, has the potential to significantly disrupt the supply chain. The stability of ruby production is now in question. The impact of this disruption could be felt worldwide, affecting markets far beyond Mozambique. The global gemstone market is highly interconnected, and any disturbance can have ripple effects. Ruby prices are likely to fluctuate as a result of this incident. Investors and traders are already reacting to the news, causing volatility in the market. Mozambique is a major source of high-quality rubies, and any disruption at the Montepuez mine will influence the availability of these precious gemstones. The country's economy also heavily relies on this sector. Any disruption at the Montepuez mine will influence the availability of these precious gemstones. Reduced production could lead to shortages in the market. Pricing will also be affected, with potential increases as supply diminishes. This could impact both wholesale and retail markets. Jewelry retailers and consumers alike may feel the effects of this incident. Retailers might face challenges in sourcing rubies, while consumers could see higher prices for ruby jewelry. Delays and price hikes are anticipated as the industry grapples with the fallout from the disruption. The uncertainty is causing concern among stakeholders. The incident highlights the importance of responsible sourcing. Ensuring that rubies are mined ethically and sustainably is crucial for the industry's reputation. Ethical mining practices are essential in the industry. They help protect the environment and ensure fair treatment of workers. Transparency and traceability in the supply chain are crucial. Consumers and businesses alike need to know the origins of their gemstones to make informed decisions. Consumers are increasingly demanding to know the origin and ethical sourcing of gemstones. This trend is pushing the industry towards greater accountability. Indeed, the Montepuez incident serves as a critical reminder of the interconnectedness of global markets. The ripple effects of such disruptions can be far-reaching, and the importance of maintaining ethical standards in the supply chain. Upholding these standards ensures the sustainability and integrity of the gemstone industry. This incident coincides with heightened political tensions in Mozambique. The country recently held a general election. The aftermath has been fraught with unrest. Opposition leader Venancio Mondlane has called for protests. This follows the killing of his legal advisor. The situation is volatile. While a direct link between the mine invasion and the political climate remains unclear, the timing raises concerns. The incident could be exploited by various groups. They may use it to further their agendas. This could escalate the situation further. The government faces a significant challenge. Maintaining order is paramount. At the same time, they must address the concerns of both the opposition and the mining companies. Peaceful dialogue is essential. Stability is crucial to ensure the safety of citizens and businesses. The incident at the Montepue mine comes at a critical time. Rubies are experiencing a surge in demand. Prices are rising. The increasing scarcity of high-quality rubies is a major factor. Traditional sources like Thailand and Burma are dwindling. This has driven up the value of rubies. Several factors are driving this surge in demand. Disposable incomes are growing in emerging markets. This translates into more disposable income for luxury goods. The increasing popularity of colored gemstones and jewelry is another factor. Rubies are seen as a sound investment. Luxury brands and high-end jewelers are incorporating rubies into their designs. This is fueling demand even further. 
the trend highlights the growing appreciation for these precious gemstones. Their beauty and rarity are highly sought after. Traditional ruby sources are dwindling. Mozambique has emerged as a key player in the global ruby market. However, even Mozambique's production has been lower than expected. This is contributing to the tight supply. Demand continues to outstrip supply. This supply-demand imbalance